Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple watch app in Objective-C for the Apple Watch. And I'm doing this in Objective-C, but um, converting this app to Swift is not going to be that difficult. All it's going to do is you're just going to press two buttons, up or down, and that's going to increase or decrease a number uh, displayed on the Apple Watch. Okay. So you want to start by downloading the latest Xcode beta and uh, you also want to have the latest OSX Yosemite version installed. Okay, so to download the beta, go to developer.apple.com, uh, click on the member center, go to iOS, and uh, scroll down and over here we should see our OS Xcode 6.2 beta with WatchKit. Uh, download that, uh, get it set up and then okay then open xcode okay and uh, we're gonna create a new xcode project uh, single view application I'm gonna name this watch All right, I'll just name this Apple watch tutorial okay uh, objective C and um, with devices for the iPhone and we're not going to use core data. Alright, finish and save it where you want to save it. And here we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is we want to create a new target in Xcode. And that can be done by going to File, New, Target. Okay, and then you'll see two sections over here, iOS and OSX. We want to go in iOS, click on Apple Watch, and then hit Watch App. Hit Next, and over here, <coughs> uh, make sure the language is in Objective-C. As I said, you can do it in Swift if you want, but um, and it's not that difficult to convert it to Swift because it's such a simple app. And uh, Okay, so then you want to un uncheck these two boxes because we're just going to be making a Watch App, nothing for notifications and nothing for a glance. And let's hit finish. Okay. And when I hit finish, you, as you can see, a couple of new folders appeared over here. And these are for our watch app extension. Okay. If we click on interface.storyboard, we can see the actual Apple Watch screen. And let's open the assistant editor so we can work side by side with the code. And make sure this is automatic so your code appears automatically. Okay, so the all all this app is going to do is when we uh, press a button, there are going to be two buttons, and when we press either button, um, the score is either going to increase or decrease. Or not the score, a number. Okay. So let's start by adding a simple label. And let's name that label hello for now. And let's initialize it in the dot h. Okay, so you can control click, drag it uh, to um, your code, and just type in name your label. So I'll name my label my label. Huh. Okay, so now that we have connected it to our code, let's add two buttons. One is going to be up, and the other button is going to be down. Okay, now that we've done that, we want to connect these buttons to our code. And these buttons are going to be action buttons. So let's again, let's control drag it to our .m file this time, and I'll name this up button. And I'll name this button again control click drag down button. Whoops. Okay. So um, let's first uh, change this hello text to the number zero. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do self dot my label dot text is equal to at uh, zero okay and when this watch app loads uh, this should change 
which is zero. Okay, so now, now let's, so we want to, let's just double check the schemes. So edit scheme, it should be Apple Watch Tutorial uh, Watch App, because that's what we want to run. And make sure the iPhones is, it's above an iPhone 5, so 5, 5S, 6 Plus, or 6, or even a 5C. And uh, let's just hit run. Okay, so when we run it, let's navigate to our app. I think tapping on this guy a few times should do the trick. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we've um, make sure to tap on the Apple Watch screen, and I think it starts up. Okay, so as we can see, um, we have the number zero, which popped up after the view loaded. But when we click these buttons, nothing happens. Okay, so let's go back to our simulator, stop the simulator. Okay, over here, let's, uh, at the top, right above the implementation, let's declare a variable x. So int x equal to 0. Okay, so when we click the up button, we want x to increase by 1. So x, you can use x++, plus plus, or if you've never seen that notation, you can always do x is equal to x plus 1. Um, either one works, I just prefer x++. Plus plus. And we want to print the value of x to the our label. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to convert that this integer to a string and then print it onto uh, the label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a new string. So ns string um, star my string is equal to um, uh, n square brackets ns string uh, with with format colon at person d comma x is this Okay, so what I want to do is convert this integer into a string. So I'm going to declare a new string called ns string star my string is equal to um, square brackets ns string string with format. Um, at percent d comma x and this should convert this value of x to a string and then we simply want to change the label um, uh, either to increase or decrease the score so let's do the same thing as we did up here self dot my label dot text is equal to at um, is equal to oh is equal to my string sorry and we want to do the same thing down here <clears throat> so in this case it would be x minus minus which is also the same as x is equal to x minus one but I prefer the x minus minus because it looks smoother and it's faster to type. So we want to do the same thing. Ns string uh, my string is equal to 
ns string string with format uh, at percent d comma x and self dot my label dot text is equal to my string. And all this is doing is we're taking that integer. When we press up, it increases by one. When we press down, it decreases by one. Uh, we're converting that to a string and displaying it up here. So let's see if this actually works. Let's hope. All right. And there we go, it works. And down, if we go past zero, it's gonna go into the negatives and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna give a, a link to the code um, in the description, so keep uh, an eye out for that. And if you have any questions, um, just leave a comment below and I'll try and help you out. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, keep developing watch apps. Yeah, I'm really excited. All right, goodbye.